Hi, it's Miss Julie. Today we're going to make a pumpkin. You'll need your pumpkin paper. You'll need some orange strips of construction paper, a brown marker, and a green marker, and your glue. While those things are getting ready, I want to read you this book. It's called Duck and Goose Find a Pumpkin. These, this is Goose and this is Duck and they're looking at their friend Thistle. They say, nice pumpkin, Thistle. Yes, it is, Thistle says. Goose tells Go uh, Duck, I want a pumpkin too. Let's go find one. Is our pumpkin in the log, Goose? No, not in the log. Is our pumpkin in the leaf pile? No, not in the leaf pile. Is our pumpkin up in the apple tree, Goose? No, not up in the apple tree. There's just apples. Is our pumpkin in the water, Duck? No, not in the water. Is our pumpkin at the top of the stump? No, it's just an acorn. You sure do know how to find a pumpkin. Yes, we do. They found a pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. Look, there's pumpkins everywhere at the pumpkin patch. Maybe you have a pumpkin at your house. Maybe you went to a pumpkin patch or maybe you went to the grocery store. There's lots of ways you can get a pumpkin. But today you're going to make a pumpkin. So the first thing that we're going to do is color the stem. And we're not gonna spend a long time coloring the stem. So that's why we're gonna use a marker. So I'm gonna color the stem brown. There's my brown stem. And I have a green pen to color the leaves. Sometimes pumpkins still have leaves on them when you get them at the pumpkin patch. But if you get them at the grocery store, they probably just have a stem. Okay. I colored my leaves and my stem. I think this is part of the vine. I'll just add a little green to my vine. Now comes the fun part. This is the part that I get excited about because it's how I'm going to make my pumpkin orange. I'm going to use this paper to pinch and tear. Pinch and tear. And um, sometimes if it's hard to tear, a grown-up will make little tiny starter tears like this so that it's easy to start tearing. I pinch and tear pinch and tear, pinch and tear, pinch and tear, pinch and tear. We've got a little bit more to do. Tear the paper. All right, so now I have all these orange pieces of paper and I'm going to use my glue. So sometimes glue is hard to open, but it's good to practice yourself. So if it's started a little bit, it's helpful. So you hold the bottom and the top and you pull. If the glue is not uh, coming out, you might have to twist. This takes practice, but it's good practice. Twisting is a strong hand thing to do. So to get my paper to stick, I'm going to put glue all over my pumpkin. Glue all over my pumpkin. My helper hand is helping while I get glue all over my pumpkin. Another way to glue is you could put glue on the tiny piece of paper and then you stick it on. You could put it on the tiny piece of paper if you want and then stick it on. I'm gonna to try to cover my whole pumpkin with paper. I know I have glue on here, so I can put this on, it will stick. Here's my pieces. I'm gonna cover my pumpkin with the orange paper. 
Uh-oh, look. I ran out of paper. I need to tear some more. Pinch and tear. 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 Pinch. Tear. Pinch. Tear. Pinch. Tear. My hands go opposite ways. One hand comes towards me, one hand goes away. Pinch and tear. Now I'm ready to put more orange on my pumpkin. I hope the glue is still sticky. Sometimes it dries. I think it's gonna work. I like the way my pumpkin is turning out. It's looking very nice. I'm going a little bit faster. I think you might go slower, but there's my pumpkin. I did it. Yay. Have fun making your pumpkin.